Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome back to Mudrunner. Now then, this week I said that I would try either to get a vehicle from in-game that will take long logs or I will get a couple of mods. So what I've done is I have actually gone through and I have found a couple of mod trailers. So I've restarted this map, we're still on the downhill map. And we've got this one here that will actually take a full lumber. You can see lumber partway down that says eight points on there. Or we've got this one here, which is a trailer that will carry medium logs four points. So I thought that what we'd do to start with is we try the four point medium one because I can also, actually, no, I can't. Uh, log trailer, short logs, that one. I thought I had a carrier. No, it wasn't that one. Uh, the log, oh, that can only take three points. I got the wrong one. I picked the wrong one. Right, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to the main menu. Yes, we are. We are going to do this correctly. We're going to go in here. We go to this one. Now, I was I, pretty sure I was told it was like one of these that was the actual vehicle that we can use in order to um, do this job properly so that we can actually take the long logs from the base game. Um, but I want to try and take eight points. So I'm actually going to take the D537 there um, game balance, that gives us five stars on downhill. It gives us five balance points. Um, we'll go for that. We're going to go for five stars on here. Although I don't want that plain one. I'm actually thinking we'll go for the blue truck there. Just so that we got five points on here. So we will start a new game, casual. Yes, I want to do it. And this one should let us... So we can put on the back of this bad boy right here. We can put the medium log. So short log trailer. We've got spare wheel, utility... Trailer, no, log carriage. There we go, Lo short logs. What? No, <laughs> it's supposed to take the long ones. I can take that one, yes, that's fine. I, I know that I can do that and I can take eight points. I wanted to take two lots of medium logs. I got this one which will take medium logs. If I show you that trailer, you got that trailer right there. It's a long way down into the ground. Let's just hitch that one on a minute. Um, There we go, that's up above the ground. Okay, that's looking a little bit groovy up there. <laughs> um... Uh, let me just start this one up a minute, and we'll see what this one does. Let me go start engine. There we go. And take the park brake off. I'm curious what this one's going to do once we get moving a little bit. Um, let's put the all wheels on. And... Right, so, yeah, this it's up in the air quite a bit. The, the, the hitch seems to be wrong on that one. I'm not sure I like that, to be honest. I think there's room for improvement on that one. Anyway, that's no good to us because I want the one with the medium logs on the back, which I think is the only going to be the, the biggest one, isn't it? So let's go back to the main menu. Let's try this again. Right. Now we've got the E7310. I think it's the E7310. It's it's the big one anyway. Uh, if we go to advanced, does it actually tell me what it is? No, it doesn't. Uh... Oh, I know what we got to do. You've got to go and hit. Yeah, the E7310. I was right. It was the E7310. Ideal. So we got this one. So I could put this one on the back. Again, it's very, very low down on the ground, which kind of is kind of the wrong position for this particular trailer. But on this one, I should be able to put the, uh, we've got the short log trailer. We've got the log carrier medium logs. That's what we want. So we put that one on there. And then we've got this one here, which is that one like that. We can't actually take with this one i can take that one off but we can't actually take a um the other trailer that i got so we'd have to take a different one for this so we're going to try this we are just going to try the log carrier on there and we're going to try the other trailer so let's just start this bad boy up and see what it does i'm not confident that it's going to do a great deal to be fair um i'll put that one on i'll put the all wheels on let's uh, zoom out a little bit that's as far as i can zoom out great um but, I mean, we've got the trailer. Even though the trailer does look a little bit odd, because it, it, it is pointing down a bit. Um, if I go onto the trailer, I can center the camera on the trailer like that. And it kind of looks all right. But, yeah, it's definitely angled down a little bit too far. So the, the actual hitch point is low on that one. Um, what I do need to do is I, I need to find out where the um, thingy is. Uh, let me zoom out. This mouse is driving me insane. It really is. I want to zoom out. There we go. That's better. Okay. We've got a garage up here that is still locked at the moment. We've got the K700 and B131 over there. We've got the log kiosk up here. Lumber mill over that side. Log kiosk. Log station. It's the log station that we need to go to. So in order to get that, we don't want to go downhill, which is down here. We need to go over this way. And I think in order to do that, I'm going to have to go over to there. 
and then I'm going to have to get onto this bit here with this road, and I'm going to have to go around here, and ooh, 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 we got a lot of mud to get through there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through that bit. That's the first bit that we're going to try to do today, if we can. Um, we may not be able to do very much with this one, and we are actually facing in the right direction. Well, that's a bonus. We, we are making some progress here. Yeah, I really don't know if this is going to work out very well with this one. I'm actually thinking that it would be better off if we were to use the D7, uh, the D535. Is it the 535? I think it's the D535. I think that we would be better off if we were to use that one. I've got one there that is unlocked, which is the little car. It's a different color this time. It's the yellow one. Um, if we were to use that one and we were to use the articulated trailer that goes with it, uh, we can take a full eight points of logs on that trailer. It's all self-contained unit. I think that would actually work really well. So um, maybe if this one isn't going to work very well, that's what we'll do. We, we, we will just try this one and we'll see how it gets on because we know that this thing is a bit of a savage beast. And I always quite like using these big savage beasts. I mean, the other ones, we've, we've had some good times with some of the other ones. It's just that I think that these have got a little bit more potential. So we bring that one. There's, that's kind of an optimal point there, where the um, the trailer was a bit lower down. I think that the axles need to be lowered, or the hitch needs to be changed ever so slightly, so that it hitches better onto the back of these. Although I'm not sure this trailer is designed for these vehicles. I think maybe this trailer is designed for a slightly different type of vehicle. Um, we'll wait and see. And all I want to know is, can I get from here to the loading of the logs? I want to be able to load the logs. I like that we can zoom out on this. We are able to zoom out a bit. We, we've got a little bit of view on this. I am centered on the trailer rather than the actual vehicle, so it's not zooming out as much as I would like. I would like to be centered on the front vehicle and still have this zoom capacity on it. However... As we discovered last week, we, this camera mode is a definite improvement on the previous one. I, I'm loving that we can see this whole vehicle. We, we can see the whole thing here. We're not just limited to a tiny little bit, but we can see everything. And absolutely all of it. Now here is the bit that I was a little bit dubious about. Have I really... I've started... I've got no fuel. Look at the fuel. That's terrible. Um... I'm not really sure what to do about that because I'm going to kind of need some. There is no, I thought that, I thought for certain that was going to be like a major mud hole that we were going into. But nope, it's been all right. So we can carry, we'll just keep following this road for a minute. I've got no, I've got nothing marked out. I've got nothing marked out on the map. I haven't planned the route. I've got no idea where we're going. This is probably not going to be a good idea. This, this is Frithgar we're talking about here. Frithgar does not find his way round very easily. Frithgar doesn't find his way around anything, ever, right? It, it's, it's not something that happens. It's not something I'm known for. Uh, let's just bring that one back over there. I think we, we're still doing all right. It's still rolling along quite nicely. It's not sort of struggling to handle this trailer at all. It's, it seems to be coping. It does. I'm pleasantly surprised at how well we've done so far. Although we haven't attempted any hills. We haven't attempted any steep downhill or steep uphill or steep anything kind of hill. And that might be all about to change. Let's just stop right there a second. And right, we are here. The fuel station is there, which we desperately need to get to. We've got a watch point back here. But I think if we just keep following the road, uh, we might be all right. That's ultimately where we want to get down there. So I think we just, we'll just keep following this road. And we may be okay. We may do this. You, know, you can see that where we want to end up is quite a sort of long way off. Uh, now which way do I want to go? Do I want to go down there or... Do, ooh, steady. Easy. Ooh. Okay, I definitely want to go over that way. Uh, I'm going to bring this onto the actual front vehicle. And that's as far as I can zoom out. But that's, that's pretty good there. We just follow this road along here. And we will hope and pray a little bit as well. But following this along here is at least going to uncover the watchtower there. So we get one point uncovered. And that should, if this road is going roughly where I think it is, we should get somewhere near to the fuel as well. So we've uncovered another little bit. And, right, we are, we're going to look. We're not taking chat. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to bring me around here. So maybe that will go round to the next watch point. Um, we've got the fuel station there, which is actually where we need to get. We're going to need to get there soon. 
We'll stay on this road. We'll see what happens. Uh, we've got 123 litres of fuel. I mean, if we've got to reset it, we've got to reset it. We'll do it. And, I mean, it might work. It might not. We'll, we'll, soon, we'll have to find out. I know that I've got some other vehicles on this map that I can unlock later. I don't know if I've got any big enough to pull the articulated trailer that I've also got installed. I got It's one other mod that I got installed. I didn't go overboard with mods this time. I decided just to get a couple just to start off with. Um, just to add a little bit of variation in here. And, ooh, took damage. This isn't good. I don't want to be taking any damage. Um, well, getting down the hill is easy. Getting up this hill when I'm laden down with a full eight points of logs, I think might be a little tough. I think we are actually going to struggle a little bit. Um, there's a bit of a roll coming down here. Uh, when I left you at the end of the last episode, I decided to just have another little tiny bit of a drive around with the vehicle that I was using. And I, I drove it up over this little um, the brow, this little hill. It turned out that there was a big hill coming down the other way. I did a lot more than I did just there. It went right over and plummeted. It just dropped, literally, like a stone. It was off a cliff. Um, and, yeah, that was the end of that one. Right. We have uncovered... Ooh, we are still going in the right direction. We want to go over to there. And then we want to go... No, wait, no, no. We want to take you off. Uh, okay. Actually, no, I don't want to go over there, do I? Fuel station is here. Log station is there. Lumber mill is only there. I literally just go from this point over to this point. That, I don't think, is going to be much of a struggle. So I want to go turn around and go over to there. And actually, I'm thinking I go here because I'll unlock the C255 as well. And once I've done that, I then need to turn around and I need to go back over to here and then down to there. Easy. Anybody could do this. Even Frithgar could cope with this. Well, we, we, we'll see. I, I'm not, I'm not going to commit myself to anything here because... Um, well, uh, I, I have a reputation to uphold, and that reputation, well, actually, it's not really much of a reputation to uphold. It's more of a, I just have a reputation. Um, I'm, 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 yeah, if anyone is going to mess this up, it'll be me. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to say here. If anyone is going to mess this up, it's going to be me. You know this. You, you already know this. Let's just back this one round a little bit and see how we do. Let's turn sharp the other way. We have completely jackknifed that trailer. That, that, that No! That's not the way to behave. That is that is not the way to treat your trailers or your vehicles, for that matter. I mean, look at the back the back tire on that one; it's just been completely shredded. But at least it got round the corner. We've done it. That's the important thing. We have successfully negotiated a three-point turn with five points of turning. But um, we, we, we can gloss over that bit. We'll just pretend that it was fine. I did a really good job. Let's let's just focus on the positives here. I did it. I successfully did what I intended to do, and that was turn round. The fact that it took five instead of three is neither here nor there. Surely. Surely should make no difference whatsoever. So we need to keep going up along this road. We're taking, we are taking a lot of damage just from nothing here. Um, I'm also getting stuck. I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful, I think. There's a lot of rocks and stuff lying around on this map. It seems a little less forgiving than some of the other ones that I've been on. Um, there is a vehicle that we can unlock. I wonder if that is one of the ones that can take the big log trailer thingy. Um, how close have I got to get to unlock? I think it's already unlocked. Yeah, it must be. Uh, okay, let's carry on over this way. We want to get to that fuel. There's the important bit, if we can get there. We've only got 74 litres of fuel left, so we are cutting it pretty fine for this, but I think we're going to be all right. Bring that one over there. And we are done. Refuel! Oh, yeah. Uh, fuel drive station. Right, truck automatically refueled. So what's this? Is this carry, like, extra fuel for me? Let's fill that one up. Plus 200 litres. Okay, it's carrying extra fuel. Oh, I wonder if I can use that to refuel the truck later on. I don't know how it works. I also suspect that, you know, we've got extra weight on board which will actually affect the way that it works. Uh, although I'm not sure. I, mean, I This is purely guesswork now. Let's go to the back one so that I can see it a little bit better. And we'll turn around. So there's four tanks on that one. And I've just filled up all four tanks. Oops. I'm also trying to demolish my vehicle. So if I bring that one back, how does it work with the tanks? I've no, I, I genuinely have no idea how the tanks work on this. So let's just stop there a second. 
We put that old handbrake on and we go to advanced and Right, so that says fuel. I've got repair points on there that I can repair and then I got fuel there. If I click on that Ah I see so you carry your extra fuel with you Right, okay. That's actually really cool. I had no idea that you could do that Right, so we've also got 200 repair points with us as well. I mean this one can take a thousand points of damage So I'm not gonna waste the repair points um, and I'm not going to bother filling up any more fuel. We got like 1,600 litres of fuel now because we got 800 in the trailer plus 800 on me. I've only used a couple, but um, I mean, it is drinking it fairly quickly, to be fair. We got, yeah, we, we've used 10 litres of fuel just from the other side of the mud pit there, uh, which is, that is a fairly thirsty vehicle. I think it's going to be all right. I don't know how much we started out with that we came down through and we ended up with so little. I think I need to go around those trees. I go on a little bit further. Yeah, I could probably have gone down to my right-hand side where I was already. That's okay. We'll go up through here. And I like being able to see the trailer behind me, which is why I haven't changed it back round. I think this is going to go really deep, isn't it? How deep is this going to get? Oh, it's not too bad. We're able to get through. It's whether the trailer will sort of get hung up on the back. Oh, the trailer just seems to be floating, actually. Those fuel tanks seem to be fairly buoyant. That's brilliant. I like that. And we come strolling in here. This is the real question now, is how well is this going to work? Because some of these mod trailers, people have had difficulty getting them loaded up. Which is, you know, it's, it's great and all that they work, but getting having difficulty loading them up does sort of lead to, to other issues. It leads to problems. So we can go this one here. We want to do four points of logs in there. Like that. And then I want to go forward a bit more and I want to get four points into the one behind me. And I've also got to be able to get out of here afterwards. Oh! They're, they're, they're kind of, like, stuck in each other. Go back a bit. Back a bit more. Well, how far back have I got to go to be able to get that? Oh, there it is. It's got to be red. Right, uh, I go to that one there, and then I go four points of you. Nope. And I got four points on that one. Right, it is loaded. <laughs> okay, that is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Look at that. Stuck right out the back, admittedly. Um, <laughs> this is really awesome. Now, i got to find my way to this sawmill next. This is going to be... Oh, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it would be better if I don't really want to go along that side. I really want to come back through there, over to here. And then I want to go down that end. And then I want to go back across here so that I can get the lumber mill. If I can get through there, I may not even be able to get through there. It might be better if I can just try and push my way through these trees to this point and go out that way. It really could go either way at the moment, couldn't it? Um, I think our first course of action is going to be to go out through there. Let's go for it. We're going to try this. I am confident that we can do this. Absolutely confident that this isn't going to work, is it? Um, <laughs> let's try just let's just try turning. We can. I'm, I reckon we might be able to do this. We might might be able to do this if I can just get round there enough. I've, I've just um, head butted the the stump there, the, the tree. No, nope, but I'm I'm through. And now I just got to hope that that trailer does kind of line up a little bit behind me. I've got 800 liters of fuel in the trailer as well as a full load of logs, which is going to slow us down a bit. Am I going to be able to get over this? <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Look at that thing. It's going to get completely <laughs> stuck, isn't it? That is not, there's no way that's going to work, is there? <laughs> no way. I did not think that that was going to come out of there. I absolutely did not. Um, okay, now where? I need to be, I think I need to be over there, don't I? Let me just okay on there. Yeah, I do. I need to go to that point, but it, there's where I want to get eventually. So how do we get, yeah, I want to go straight across. So I kind of want to get up there, but I don't know. I don't think I want to go that side. I think what I actually want to do is I want to go up there. No, that's coming up the wrong way. I don't know. Right, let's get onto this island in the middle. And we'll see what we can do from that point. That's that's going to be our that's going to be our next bit. We want to get to that island. If we can go, th how deep is this water? Going to be the next thing. I'm completely submerged. No. Oh. This is this isn't good. I am completely. 
There's no way this is going to work. There's absolutely no way that I can do anything with this now. Nah. Well, that sucks. I should have... <laughs> okay, that doesn't... That doesn't really... I love the oil effect. I really do. I, I do like the oil effect. I will give it that much. Um, I, I, I don't know what to do now. I really want this to work, but at the same time... Can I... Can I do something with like the let's try can I can I um can I winch? I can't winch when I'm underwater. Ooh. Winch source. No. It's absolutely not going to do this underwater, is it? So we what we need to do is we need to uh let's go to here. Right. So we know that we can't get through that bit. I need to reset this one, which is all the way over here. So I can either do that, or I can... Is that, the, is that like the point of this map, is that you can't get through here? Is that is that what this is all about? Is there's no way to get through and you've got to go like all the way around or something equally obscene? Um, I don't know whether to just try a different vehicle and trailer. I'm not going to. I'm going to reset this one. We're going to reset this one right now. We're going to go there and we're going to go recovering garage. Yes. Yes. Right, there goes all of the fuel and the trailer and everything else. We've, lo we've lost everything. We've lost everything. All of our hard-earned work is now just gone. We have to go all the way back and do it again. Sucks to be you, Frithgar. Sucks to be you. Right, uh, we've got the log carrier on, and I can take that one. So, yeah, we'll go for that one again. That's the kind of stuck up against the, the, the wall. That's fine. So what do we want to do? We want to go back over to where, you know, I can't remember which way around it was. So I need to, I'm going to mark it out a little bit just so that I can see where I'm going. And over there, come through. This was really easy. It was just like a straight line down. Uh, I've got loads of fuel, so I should be good with the fuel. We just kind of need to keep going that way. Right. Let's see if we can get back to that garage and see what we can do. It's a beautiful morning. And we have been struggling through the night. Well, we struggled until early evening and then we slept. But still, um, the, the thought was there. And we have almost gotten back to the, the log station. I'm not going to worry. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about going into getting uh, fuel. But what I am going to worry about is how I'm going to approach getting these logs. Because what we need to do is we need to get in there. We need to get the logs. We need to be able to come out again. Now, our previous efforts were an abject failure because um, yeah we, we, we weren't able to get anything at all out of it so we can't do that so we're going to come belting on down through here and we need to get across that river to where the fuel is and then we've got to get back across the river this way so that we don't sink with the, the load of logs that we've got on board and easy does it we can't go too fast down here either because otherwise we take some horrible damage on our vehicle uh, we kind of want to go straight across there. Not like that. Uh, can I do this straight down across there? I'm going to try. I'm probably going to end up having to redo this yet again, but um, I really want to. I want to be able to just go in a straight line. This, this thing should be able to go anywhere without problem. You shouldn't have any issues whatsoever about going anywhere that you want it to go. Okay, it's kind of doing it. It does kind of do it. I mean, I think the trailer behind us is kind of holding us back a little bit. But overall, it does seem to be doing what we want. I've got to get through here. <laughs> Look at the trailer on the back. I've got to get through here with logs loaded onto that thing. That's going to be nigh on impossible. We'll we'll do our best. We'll have, to, we'll have to do what we can do. I think what we need to do first, though, is we want to get in here. We want to get this thing turned around. And then after we've turned it... Then we'll be able to pull out fairly easily. I think we'll have better luck turning it round, doing it empty rather than fully laden. So if I can just come in here and get this thing facing in a different direction. I'll bring you over that way. There we go. And then turn it like that. And then reverse it back up. Like that. Right, but now we're making some progress. So I want to go up that way a little bit further. And if I can get that up just a bit more, I will then be able to get the back end of the trailer will come around. We've got to turn the front end of this one around a bit first. 
So it does that, and then we can start backing it up and turning at the same time. There goes the back end of the trailer. That's coming around now. Perfect. Well, it's a little bit savage, but um, it'd probably be all right. So if I could just straighten up just a tiny bit and then full lock on the wheels on the other way and back it round. That should be what I want. Yes, then I can bring it round full lock the other way. Start straightening it up. And then I can... There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I can bring that one back in there like that. And I just want to reverse it just a little bit further like that. And so then I can go medium logs on there. Get you loaded. And then go to the front one. Medium logs on that one as well. Job done. Excellent. And now let's get out of here. Uh, I'm going to go with the trailer view and this one. Oh, no, it's, it doesn't like that. i got to do it like this. Then I can go to the trailer view. There we go. That's what I want. I want the trailer view there. Bring that one round. Now, this is going to be interesting. I don't know if it's even got those logs fastened onto that trailer properly. I think it has. I think they they are snapped into place exactly as they should be. Right, I don't know what the, the, the vehicle is doing. It's trying to sort of ride up that tree. I don't want it to do that. Go that way. There we go. And the locks don't look like they're held on by anything. I'm really hoping that they are. I'm really hoping that they're not going to come falling off. Because if they do fall off, it's going to be fairly heartbreaking. We've not really gone very far yet. Um, is this going to work? Are we going to get through here with these logs on? Because the logs are kind of... Yeah, see what I mean? They're, they're wedged. It's not doing it. It doesn't like... I've, I've made a dam. I've dammed the river. Uh, <laughs> oh, this thing is brilliant. Right, it really doesn't like this trailer, does it? Um, How do I do? I've washed the wheels. Wheels are nice and clean. Told me to wash your car. I've done it, Mum. Look, see? Yeah, car's nice and clean now, Mum. Don't worry. And out we go. Right, and then this is where the logs wash off the, the actual trailer with the water, doesn't it? No, nope, they've done it. They've held in place. So far, we're making some progress. It's slow, admittedly, but we are making some progress. If I can do one load like this, I want to then get a vehicle that will take the articulated trailer that I've got as well. And that one will be the other load that we do. And we can get that one to the other lumber mill. Whether that's going to work or not, I don't know. This one is... It's just not going, is it? It's the way that this... Seriously? Seriously? You're not... You're just giving up now, are you? It's not even trying. <laughs> I don't really know what to make of this. Uh, let's try winch. Um, I got no winch points. Can I winch it out on? I've got one winch point up there, and the winch is. Oh, I need to leave that. F, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's try just dragging it forward a little bit. Get it up the hill just a bit so we can kind of get this trailer moving. And then, like that, I can take that one off. It can keep going. Right, now we're making some progress. We're, we are slowly getting. I mean, yes, this is really. we. It doesn't seem well suited to this particular job, does it? This outfit does not seem to be working very well for it. Um, I mean, we, we're we getting there really slowly, but I, I got a feeling we're not going to be able to get across this river anyway. We're going to come out to this side. I mean, I know that it is shallower there. I still don't think we're going to get across there. I think it's going to be too deep for us. That's going to be our problem. We're going to end up having... We've got to go back up that hill, and we've got to go right the way around. I think that is kind of the point of this map. Although, actually, there is two points. There's there's two lumber mills. We've got one lumber mill there. Where's the other one? Ah, uh, the other one's over there. So we do have to get back up the hill. Regardless, we do eventually have to get back up the hill. So we, we need to get across this point. This is the difficult bit, is getting across. If we can get across this point, then we're three quarters of the way there. At least that's what I'm going to call it. Um, yeah, so we got some, got some, it's very sort of undulating ground here, and we've got a vehicle that is absolutely not suited to this whatsoever. That's not move. yeah, look at that, that is, that is hating that. It's the way that it wedges just there, you can see the way it's joined together, it's causing these wheels not to be able to do anything at all. Doesn't like it. 
We may even have to unhitch. Try and move it round. Ooh, can we unhitch and then, like, winch it forward? Drag it with us? Could we do that? We're going to have to do something because this isn't working. Yeah, it's just given up now. It's, it's, it's um, stranded itself. Okay, we'll go to advanced and we will go to detached trailer. There. Right. Uh, so next option is we take it off of there. We turn. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and move this one. Right, this one does move a little bit. But what I need to do is I need to move this one forward. I then need to back up a little bit. Bring it around like that. And I need to bring it around the other way. I kind of need to just move the trailer round a bit so that we're going a little more sideways. So if I bring it that way, there, and then sort of get into position on the hitch, that will pull it sideways a little more rather than how we were doing it previously. This is I reckon this is going to be the only way that we can do this. Because uh, you got that there's a deep pit there that doesn't work very well, does it? Um... That's about as close as we're going to get to that one, I think. And my mouse is doing that strange thing again where it just won't do what I want it to. Right, let's stop there. And then we go to advanced and... Okay, it doesn't like that. Can't detach. You need to move closer. So I need to get the, the back end of it over that way. You know, it'd help if I took the brake off, I think. Uh... So where's the actual hitch on this thing? I thought we were roughly in the right place. We're not, though. We're not even close to the right place. So I'm going to bring that one over there. And then I'm going to have to back up that way a bit, I think. Maybe we'd let's try... Oh, that might be that might be a good place. Still not quite, is it? There. Advanced. There we go. Right, that is, it, it does do it a little bit crazily, but it did work. So we, we've, kind, we've made a little bit of progress. Can we now actually move? Yes, we're doing it. We are actually making progress. Superb. Uh, I was thinking I would turn, but I don't think I will actually. I think I'm just going to go straight this way. Turn when I'm going up the bank. That's going to be the better way to do this. Bring that one up round. Go on. Round he goes, and we are out of there. Excellent. Right, so we, we, we are now getting somewhere. We've got so well, we, we've made a small amount of progress anyway. Very, very small amount of progress in the grand scheme of things because we've still got a lot of deep water and a lot of mud to get through, and I think we're going to genuinely struggle. This trailer needs a longer drawbar on it. That's what it needs. Definitely needs a longer drawbar. So we can come around this way, and I go to the back camera. We can see what we're doing here. That's a bit better. I like this view. Let's go there. And... Right, I'm going to put back on the map where exactly it is that we got to go. Because, um... Yeah, while we're doing great just here on this bit, this is where it's going to get tricky, is going through here. I think what we want to try and do is we want to get to there. And we need to stay this side. I think we need to go up there. I don't think we want to go out that way. I think we need to get to that point there. And then we want to go to the lumber mill. How this is going to work for us, I really have no idea. We can't get through there anyway. Uh, so we do want to go... It, it is this direction that we want to head. And I want to try and keep it up off the side. Ooh, easy with the camera there. Um, now, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Tiger. No, we can't go in there. We're going into a pit. Uh, ooh. You know what? Unless we can get along the top, we do have to actually go that way over there is where we've got to go. Yeah, we we got to go that way. There is where we've got to get to. And then we've got to go up this way. I don't think we can do it any other way. And then this, that's where we, we're heading. Um, let's back out of there a minute. We'll try heading along this way. It was through there somewhere that we tried to get across first time. And it's very, very deep in there. We'll need to remember that. There is some very deep and treacherous water there. Uh, I'm going to go back to the front one, just so that I can see it a little bit better. And we'll come in round there. Now, this trailer is very difficult to cope with. I like that it is a challenge. I will give it that. I like the fact that this trailer is presenting us with a bit of a challenge in order to make it work. Um, 
Whether or not we're going to be pleased overall with the result at the end, I'm not really sure. But we are getting there. And we can get through this bit, so we, we kind of just need to keep going in the direction we're going at the moment. Looking at that road there, I don't think we're going to be able to go up through there. We got There is a ways to go as well. So we don't want to go through those trees. And we want to just keep going down that way. Let's go back out to the trailer. We'll see a bit better. There we go. We, go, we, we, zoom, we zoom out further if we put it onto the trailer. That does seem to work better. Um, so we'll bring this around this way, and then we can... We'll stay on the top of the ridge bit here. Is whether that is going to be a really deep pool. I don't think it's going to be deep. He doesn't give the impression of being really deep. Although he says, he says that, oh no. No! No! The, if the back end dips too much, it causes pro Oh no, it just kind of kept it wedged up in the air. So it was alright in the end. And then we can pull down over with our vehicle. Oh, we've done it! Yes, we're doing it. Um, well, I say we've done it. We've almost done it. We've just got to get there is the lumber mill. Eight points! In a single trip, it is actually possible. So the next one we want to do with the articulated trailer, that is going to be way more difficult because we've got to get back up a hill in order to get that bad boy to work. And I really don't know how we're going to do that. That is going to be very difficult. Unload, eight points, eight points delivered. Thank you very much. Ideal. Right. We're at this point. There's a watch point there. We'll see if we can unlock that one in a minute. And then I've got two more watch points. I want to get those unlocked. So I might try playing around with that a little bit at the beginning of the next episode. I need that C255. That one's good. We're going to recover that one. Okay, let's just get this piece unlocked here a minute. That watch point right there. And then we're going to go. That will be it for today's episode. Oh, it's right there. I can see it. I can actually see it. So we bring this one over. I'm going to switch over to the other vehicle rather than this one because this one doesn't take the articulated trailer. Um, but the other one I'm hoping it will take the articulated trailer we want. If it doesn't, we'll just have to start the map again. Um, so there's that bit done. So we go here, uh, advanced and stop engine. And then I go there. I want to go to the CE255. I'm hoping this one will take the articulated trailer. Let's go here, and we will recover the garage. Recover. Yep. I don't care if we lose it all. And yes, we can take it. Right, so we want to go up through installed. Uninstall that one. And then I want a garage semi-trailer. Garage parts, no. Spare wheel, no. Trailer hitch. That's the one that I want. So we put that one on, and then we can go with this one that will take a full eight points. There we go. Bring that one round. This is the one that we're going to use in our next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.